Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I'm going to have some fun with brand new stamps that I got from Stampendus. These are um, the map of Paris in a 6x6 big rubber stamp. And I'm also going to use this Paris stamp set that gives you the Eiffel Tower along with more images and there are also matching dies available. Now all of these stamps by Stampendus are on sale right now so make sure to check the links down below and uh, there is also a great uh, sale going on at the moment that uh, you will get 20% uh, off on all things Tim Holtz which I will be using today as well so make sure to check the links down below as well as on my blog. Now I decided to work on my 6x6 art journal today just because this stamp is 6x6 which means that it's going to cover up completely the background. I am going to apply some uh, gesso on the edges of my 6x6 page here. I'm not trying to be neat here at all, I just want to have that black on the edges since it's going to work as a frame for my layout later on. And I'm going to leave this to dry. Now I have a paper bag here as you can see which I am going to cut out into a little square. The idea here is to cut out a little square that is slightly smaller than my art journal. I'm also going to cut off the edges just to separate those pieces. And I have a lovely craft paper to stamp my map on top. I'm going to use my stamping platform to do all the stamping. And uh, this is where I realized that I need to switch the lid just because I'm using a rubber stamp so you need to make sure that it writes rubber on top. I have already secured this uh, paper on top of my stamping platform with just some uh, removable tape adhesive so I don't need to apply any magnets at all. I used the Coffee Archival Link which is permanent to stamp the map and just because this is a big rubber stamp I'm going to stamp one more time to get a better impression. The good thing of using the Archival Link is that just because it is permanent no matter what I do later on on top of this paper it's going to be fine, it's not going to smudge or smear. And I'm using some alcohol here to clean my stamping platform and you will see that this permanent ink is going to wipe right off. And now I'm going to have some fun with my map. I'm going to distress it as much as I can. I'm using Vintage Photo and inking up the edges. And I'm also going to add some uh, distress ink at the center here and there. This is already a brown paper, but by adding that ink, it really adds a lot to the look. I want to make this uh, map look as old as possible, so I'm going to add some water splashes, which I then uh, going to blot with my cloth. And just because uh, the paper I'm working on is very thin, it is possible to crinkle, uh, to crinkle it and uh, to make it look older. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So don't fear. This is uh, going to add so much texture on uh, my map and it's going to make it look older. And then finally to complete the look you can uh, tear the paper in different areas or you can cut out notches like I'm doing here and um, curl the paper. And then finally I'm going to use this pattern paper that I created on top of my art journal page by adding some matte medium at the back. Now I'm adding matte medium at the center and as I'm going to stick this map on top I'm making sure that I don't stick it completely flat. I still want to see all those creases that I created earlier. And just like I always do with my backgrounds I'm going to add some splashes. This time I'm going to add black splashes. Now I want to add even more texture on my background so I will do some embossing. Now I will be using this stamp set by Stampendus later on for my focal points and one thing that I love about Stampendus is that most of their stamp sets come with matching stencils and you can see how beautiful this stencil is. So I'm going to apply it on uh, different areas of my background. Instead of using my big ink pad of Versamark ink, I'm using the small ink cube just because it gives me more control on exactly where I want to apply the ink. So I'm not going for perfection here, I just want to do some embossing to add more texture and shine on my background. I'm using a chunky embossing powder, this is by Stampendus and it's called Aged Gold. It's going to melt beautifully and you will see all the shine that I will get later on. So I'm going to use the stencil again and uh, apply a little bit of Versamark ink in a different area. I 
I am going to apply my embossing again, embossing powder again, and then I'm going to melt everything. Now remember that there are different types of embossing powders. There are fine powders which are great for uh, stamping detailed images and sentiments and such. And there are also chunky ones which are absolutely great for art journaling. And uh, the aged uh, line by Stampendus is amazing. They have beautiful colors and they are actually a mix of colors. You will see um, fo the photos at the end of the video and you will see how beautiful this uh, embossing powder is. Now from the stamp I'm going to stamp the Eiffel Tower as well as the row of um, trees and I'm using Jet Black Archival Link for that. I'm using again my stamping platform so that I can stamp it a couple of times to get a nice and crisp image. And then I will use the matching dies to cut out the images. One thing that's great about Stampendus dies is that they cut exactly where those lines are so they don't give you a border around the image that turns it into looking as a sticker. And I love that uh, non-sticker look for my art journals. I don't mind for card making, but for my art journals I prefer not to have that border around. Now I'm trying to turn those uh, cutouts into thicker elements for my art journal and that's why I have cut out the same image, the same cutout three times so that I can stack one on top of the other. This is going to make it look as if it is a chipboard piece. I'm going to leave the Eiffel Tower black and white as it is but I'm going to add some green color on the trees. For that I'm working with my alcohol markers just because it was easy for me to grab them. But you can use any medium for doing that. Just make sure that um, whatever you use is not going to cover up the black lines. I'm using my blending tool to add some vintage photo around the edges of those cutouts. Just because I have vintage photo on my background, this uh, little detail is going to get rid of uh, the different color of the edges and it's going to bring everything together. I'm also going to cut out this fleur de lis and this comes from the matching dies of this stamp set. I have cut it out three times so that I can stack one cardstock on top of the other. This way I will end up having a thicker piece, just like the Eiffel Tower and uh, the trees that I already have. I covered this die cut with Versamark ink and I embossed it twice. I actually used the same embossing powder as I did for the background, the aged gold chunky embossing powder. And you will see how beautiful it's going to turn out as if it's an embellishment that uh, was pre-made. And uh, I'm going to insert here a close-up photo of the finished project so you can see how beautiful it looks. And now because I cannot leave my background alone, I'm going to do some uh, more stamping. I'm using this script um, stamp that I had in my stash and this is actually um, French script. So I'm uh, using Black Archival link and I'm going to stamp a little uh, here and there. I'm not going to cover up the whole background. And this is where I'm playing with my designer tape set by Tim Holtz. This is the Aristocrat set and it comes with uh, lots of um, designer tapes. These are like washi tapes in different widths and uh, they have different designs. They all match together. So I'm just fighting here with trying to find the ends and just um, cutting out little pieces to stack them one on top of the other. This is going to add a little bit of interest on my page. But at the same time I made sure that I use colors that are quite muted, so although there is something going on at the background, they are not going to make uh, my background too busy. These tapes, the designer tapes, come in uh, many different sets and they are all on sale uh, along with everything Tim Holtz, so make sure to check the links below because this sale lasts only for 3 days starting from today. Now I'm going to stick everything down, for that you can use any type of glue, I just uh, decided to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue just because I had it uh, close by. And uh, I'm going to stick uh, the trees at the bottom of my Eiffel Tower by adding some uh, foam squares and some glue on one side to level everything with my Eiffel Tower. 
So as I'm sticking everything down, just to remind you that you will find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. So here I am going to stick the fleur de lis at the top right corner. Now I'm working on this uh, tiny little piece of uh, tag that I had in my stash forever. I'm adding a little bit of stamping with my French script stamp. I have also inked up the edges with vintage photo and uh, black suit. And now again I'm playing with my designer tapes. These are the exact same tapes that I used for my background. And I'm going to stick some of these pieces on top of the tag. Now I wanted this page to be all about traveling and to stick some phrases on top of my page about uh, that, but instead of sticking them directly on the background I decided that it would be fun to add an extra element for even more layers, so that's how I came up with the idea of using this tag. And since it's always fun to have different textures and elements on an art journal layout, I'm going to thread some twine, this is black and white twine that I had in my stash. And my tag is pretty much ready, I'm going to add some foam squares at the back, so these are going to be leveled with um, the trees. And at the base of my tag I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive which is going to secure it nicely, tucked behind the trees. And now all that's left to do is to add the quotes, for that I'm going to use some stickers, black and white stickers from the Small Talk uh, booklets by Tim Holtz, again these are on sale, I think this is a great sale, I love Tim Holtz products and I know that everybody loves them, so 20% off on all his products are <laughs> really great. I'm going to stick some of them and I decided to go with ones that say travel the world, explore, dream, discover and be amazed. So this is the layout for today, I had so much fun creating it, I think it turned out really gorgeous, one of my favorites for sure. I hope you had fun too while watching and that you got inspired, here are some close up photos of the project that I made today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.